today's episode, we are talking about what is next. What's next for the cars in the garage? We have some for sale. What's next for the 413 coupe behind us? And so much more. We're gonna talk about that and we are actually getting on the road today as well. We're heading down to Alabama to take the 413 coupe behind us to Greening Auto Company and Jesse Greening for some new updates. Round two build on the 413 coupe, but so much in store. Let's get into today's episode and share what's in the garage and what we are doing with some of the cars. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the 413 car. It is one of those, I've been asked multiple times, is this car for sale? And it is not. It would take such a stupid number in my mind to buy the car and we put so much into it already. Uh, I love the car. So you'll see behind me the 413 coupe. Um, it is going down to Greening Auto. We have several updates. We'll try to go down there in Alabama, not just now to drop it off, but as it progresses and then pick it up uh, when it's finally done. No aesthetic changes will be done on the car. Um, more mechanical just to make sure that it starts stop steers for more road trips again the build was good we're just trying to get it to where we can drive a little bit further and more comfortable for our fitting so we have some exciting updates and we'll share some of that once we get down to Alabama as well on the 413 coupe so that is in store on this car uh, let's go to the Roadster next The Roadster is for sale. So we hate to sell the Roadster. I love this car. We had this car actually built uh, for us by Low Man Rods in Tip City, Ohio. Um, nothing is wrong in the car. This is a car that we can actually hop in and drive anywhere. This is our go-to car, but the only reason we're selling it is we have something new in store. So what would you like us <laughs> to maybe put in the garage? But the only way we can add something is if we get rid of something and the Roadster is for sale. So you'll see that on our website, uh, opposingcylinders.com. Uh, you'll see the price, the photos. There's plenty of videos on our channel here as well from using the car, road trips, and more. Uh, so make a serious offer, no low balls, not looking to trade. We have something in store, but the Roadster is for sale. Uh, super great car, brand new crate engine, 383 stroker. It's got brand new speed and design interior. Everything is dialed in. Again, turn the key and just drive this car. We'll give you a quick walk around of this one. If you look at the pictures on the car on the website, it does have two different options. It can be bought with either set of wheels. It's got the Steelys, as you see in the video here, or it has a set of American Rebels, the big and little. So it can be bought with both sets or just take your preference. Um, but it's sad to see this one go, but I like change. I like new things and hopefully you like new things in the garage as well. So moving on, we'll go to the new build maybe you saw this in a previous episode we're not going to show you the whole car we'll show you bits and pieces of this car and this one is going to go back to low man rods this is the new five window build this one's going to go low man rods just for a few little updates this is a steadfast hot rods build all steel uh real henry ford body um, but we just have a few more things to finish up before this one goes to paint and body next year. But we're really excited about this car and what it's going to be. And uh, hopefully you like it as well. So that's really kind of it on this one. You can see a previous video on this car. It's got a lot of one-off parts, the chop, and we're not gonna show you some close-ups on the back or some of the other items. You'll just have to stay tuned. But again, this one, it will be a surprise. We are not going to show you the final color and some of the other details. We've got to keep some surprises. So the final one in the garage that we're going to hit on today is the purple truck.
Now I hate to say it, I love the purple truck. My wife did not want me to say this one is for sale. You'll see it up behind me. Um, but I'm just not using it much. And for me to get the other new car, I'm not, I can't use four and five cars. I know some people just have big collections. I, I don't have the room. We just don't have the space or the finances to be able to keep everything in the world that we wish to have. So unfortunately the purple truck does have to go. This one is an 89 GMC. Uh, all slick, as slick as can be, 54,000 original miles, factory bucket seats, factory rear defrost, the dash is perfect. It is slick just inside the door jams, underneath the hood, everything's been painted. It's purple and black underneath the hood to match. The tires are all shaved. This is a great seal. I've sold several other OBS trucks like this for more money than what I'm asking for this one, and they were not as nice as this one. So you really need to see the purple truck in person to appreciate it and appreciate the color out in the sun and in person, it really changes color. So that's what we have in store in the garage, but we are getting on the road. We're gonna get hopefully the 413 coupe started up and get this one running. We are gonna load it in the trailer and make our way down to Alabama. We're gonna have some stops, new shop tours at Johnson's Hot Rod Products. We're going to announce some exciting news with Johnson's Hot Rods as well as uh, Jesse Greening, Greening Auto Company, and so much more to come with our new website after the first of the year. So stay tuned. Kyle and I are getting on the road. Let's get the car started. I have not started it in months, so this could be a challenge, but let's get it loaded up. We'll see you on the road.